Hi everybody, it's Net from The Art of Intuition. Today we're gonna to talk about sleeping. Why is sleeping important? Why does it come up so much? When we talk about different health things, sleeping comes up a lot. People who aren't sleeping at all, people who are sleeping, what would be deemed as a lot. It can also be seen as a symptom. I don't even like the word symptom, but I'm gonna use it because there's really no symptoms. Symptoms is a very third dimensional consciousness word. It's that level of consciousness. It, and that's why you notice that a lot of different, you know, symptoms correlate to a lot of different things because everything has to do, there's a different consciousness perception of everything the human body ever goes through. So depending on your level of consciousness, you're going to have a different take on all of these things. So if you see something going on with your body and you go and start looking up stuff, you have to be conscious of what level of consciousness you're looking at and decide if it resonates with you. So I do always kind of want to say that because sometimes things, even if you're at a different level of consciousness, they still might tr trigger or resonate with you. So just be aware of what you're looking for at what you're reading what level of consciousness is that at and does that resonate with me but when we see sleep you see that correlating a lot with people who are depressed people who sleep all the time and sleep changes you know as you go through your expanding your consciousness embodying in higher levels of consciousness you'll sleep a lot you won't sleep at all in the beginning we sleep a lot because sleep is the only place in the beginning where you can tap into higher vibrational realities it is how you reconnect almost to the grid because your body your human dna and your body is not you're not hampered by that and in the beginning we're kind of hampered by that our brainwave state is different when we sleep we're able to open up and see more that's why people who are depressed we're just going to use that as an example they will sleep a lot because depression really means they're just disconnected from source consciousness. They're disconnected from that powerful aspect of themselves. They're disconnected from that, from unity consciousness. They're not connected to it anymore. So they're sleeping to reconnect. That's why all of us do it. Whether we're doing, we're doing it consciously or unconsciously, you're sleeping to try to reconnect. That's why people who are in those emotional states are sleeping a lot. One, it's a great place to clear. And two, they're trying to reconnect up. Because sometimes everything else around, around them will be so misaligned. And they're so drained by it all. They don't even have the energy to align it all. So it's sort of a mechanism to reconnect in. So you can look at where you are with your sleep. <laughs> different people you'll see, different stages they're in with their sleep. But it's not always what you think it is. And the body is going to try to do what it needs to do to get to the next stage of its, pro its, its ascension process of ascending its consciousness, pulling its body up, recoding its DNA. It's always going to go to that next phase. That's what it's trying to do. And it's always going to do that. It's always going to be trying to do something. A lot of times we will our human will want to hamper that. It won't let it go through the organic process of what it's trying to do. So I think when you start dealing, especially with sleep, it's so much, it's also a lot of judgment around the whole sleep issue. You know, you see that a lot. Well, they sleep too much. They, they're not doing this. They're sleeping all the time. I actually heard this the other day where someone was like, oh, they're sleeping all the time. Sleep is very different in the different, different, perceptions, different levels of consciousness than it is in the human reality. In the human reality, it's looked as if they're lazy or it's something wrong with them. Their body is trying to reconnect. Their body is trying to do that. So just always look at it. You don't always have to. <laughs> Take the faces on. Take the emotion out of it. Understand that the body is always trying to do something. It's always trying to reconnect. We just don't want it to organically go through the process because we don't like the process. So we try to interfere with it. That's what you'll see a lot. The human wants to get into it. The human wants to interfere with the process. So look at if there's a process. It might not even be sleep that your human body is trying to go through, but your human aspect is trying to interfere with it. 
the human aspect is always going to interfere with it too because it doesn't want it to ascend its consciousness. The human ego aspect is here to prevent that in a sense. You know, it, it's, it's not supposed to let that happen. Now there are times when we eventually just understand that, that yeah, it's, it's always going to kind of, I have to go the other way. Then what I would normally do, I need to go the other way with this. I want to let this play out. I did a video a while ago called, the, I think it was the art of restraint. Sometimes we have to restrain ourselves from trying to interfere with things, trying to push things forward when they're not moving. Listen to your body. Check in with your body and say, look, is this something I need to be concerned about? Is this something I need to let it just play itself out? Especially around the sleep issue, around any issue really. I guess it doesn't really matter. I think I said really like 16 times there. It doesn't really matter what it is. Check in with your body and feel what feels right to you. When you start going and looking for, for more information, look at the level of consciousness the, what collective are you looking at for that information? It might not be your collective anymore. What's important is it resonates with you. What do you feel is right for you? That's the most important thing. It doesn't really matter about what anybody else says, honestly. It's just what feels right to you. That's the most important thing. So if you're sleeping a lot, do not fear. <laughs> it is a very important part of reconnecting in. So I wish everyone lots of sleep and keep practicing the art of intuition.